Welcome back. Well, we just found out that we could come back to the beginning of the age from this side. But here we find a control for a gate into the lagoon, which Sharper also mentioned in his journal. And we can lower it. That's why we had to uh, turn on the power for this side so we could lower this gate. Actually, we didn't have to do that. There's no real purpose to lowering the gate. At least not from the game's perspective. There is, of course, the age perspective. We know that... Um, what the hell? It suddenly started floating. That's not right. We're now standing on the uh, broken path. We can jump on it to create a shortcut. And now we can walk around this way as well, if we want. Anyway, this uh, gate, as I was saying, was used to keep uh, the creature out of the lagoon so it wouldn't eat the mushrooms. Well, this creature, we haven't seen her yet. And it's not very likely that we will see her right now, because she's scared of loud sounds, as uh, Sharper said in his journal. So there's way too much noise right now. We go down the other tunnel. We come to this side. And there's another one of those flapper machines down there, which uh, attracts the flappers, I guess. We don't need to use that right now. What we do need to use is this. This is the gun that uh, Sharper mentioned in his journal. It's actually a dunny uh, mining instrument. We can use it to look around. I also need to use it for something else though. So if we look back at the land. We noticed noticed that there's a an opening there. We actually saw this ladder before when we got to uh, the journey cloth there though I didn't point it out. We can't get there because the ladder is too high. It seems that this ladder is being uh, held up by these stones. So let's see if we can uh, do something about that using this gun. Press, press this button, shoot the gun. So we'll break the stone. The ladder didn't fall down yet. Let's try and break some more stones. Here we can also zoom. Get a better aim or something. There goes the ladder. We can break the remaining stone, but... Or we could if I actually had any kind of correct aim. Doesn't help, but it's possible. Okay. So now that the ladder has been... Uh, Lowered. Did you hear that? That's the creature. Fragments of the stones we just shot lying on the floor here. So let's head back down this side. Careful not to fall down. And we can climb up this ladder.
And we see yet another office. Which I guess was also used by Sharper. We see more diagrams and stuff. And the final journey cloth. Anything else here? Ah, yes. And get a different shirt. I think you also need to have the expansions to get that shirt. Or Uru Live. Not just Uru. And this is the same map that was in the uh, office in Dunny. Can we look at the stuff on the desk? Not really. Some more drawings of the creature and another diagram. Okay, now I'm stuck wearing this shirt until I can get back to Relto to change it. Anyway, we now have all of the journey cloths. Another thing I don't like is that there's no real good way to run downstairs because you keep falling if you try. I don't know what he's doing. He's caressing the door or something. <laughs> and it opens up back here. But now we have all the... journey cloths. So we should be able to open this door. This is the journey door. We hear a, a sort of a linking sound when we open it. It takes us into a really dark cave. And we hear the sound of creatures running around. And these are actually the Barrow. So we walk into the cave, we link. Your journey has begun. You can't imagine how these small things affect the future, but someday you will. You will return. Many paths have brought me to this place. The path of my great-grandmother, bringer of destruction. The path of my grandfather, the rebuilder of pride. The path of my mother, writer of dreams. And of my father, my dear father, the caretaker of burdens. And I knew that at the end of such great paths must lay a great purpose. I returned to the cleft to find it. The cleft. The fissure in the desert, the wound in the earth. The path to things beneath the surface. It was there I sought to find my purpose. It was from there I came to know the dead underground city of Denis. These Denis people who are now gone came thousands of years ago to the shelter of the cavern to return to leastness. They found solace in their smallness in the dark. And so did I. But light is powerful in the darkness. Did you see the hidden caves and the cages? It is where the proud would keep the least. The least were only animals, after all. Animals that could link. They could be put to work or play. They could ease the burden of the proud and fill their free time with entertainment. Quietly as Denise slept, their lives were taken. Because the proud make the rules. This wasn't the first time such a blasphemy was part of Denis. The histories whisper of it, like Vatuk the Acher or King Asimlef. And even in this age, it may not be the last. And now to these pillars. These four pillars around you are the very being of the Bahro. You must take them. They will bring a great treasure to Relto, your age, the island in the clouds. Relto will be their keeper for only a brief time. Okay, I think she finished. And that put us out of time, so we will continue in the next video.